Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are testing out a $74 bronzer. I'm actually really excited to try this out because the other item that I have tried out during WTF from Shantikai, which that's the brand we're playing with today, I love. So we are now playing with another high ticket item from the brand. They don't always work out. I mean, to be honest, some of the Shantikai foundations I haven't really loved in the past. So this is an HD bronzing powder. They do have a universal HD powder as well that is the same price, same package, but I need some help with bronzing right now because I'm not self tanning, I'm not tanning in the sun. I mean, I'm like SPF strong every single day, but I like to have a little bit of warmth to my skin and I like my skin to be bronzed. So this is a matte bronzer that is said to fill in your lines, which when I read that, I was like, okay, sign me up, I'll pay that extra money. I wanna see if that really happens or if it is just hocus pocus. I don't know, I mean, jury's out, I have to be honest. I posted on Monday a video about best products under $5 and the Wet n Wild bronzer that is $4.99 that I put in that video, I am loving. It is so smooth, it's really long wearing, I like the way it looks on my skin, I like the way it sits on my skin, but it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so that might be a drawback for some of you, I don't know if that's a deal breaker, but I just, now on my head, I'm like, gosh, like $5, $74, this is gonna be tough to impress me. So let's take a look at the box. Ooh, beautiful purple. So all their packaging is just this kind of vibrant, bright purple. I think it's very pretty. Purple's my favorite color. How many times can I say that on my channel? We may never know. Then you open up this guy right here and it's very chrome. I feel like I'm having a matchy matchy moment with my nails. I went and got them done. I know you guys are going to ask about this. It's actually a powder that they put on my nail polish like before they put a top coat on. It's like the craziest thing. I love it. Um, anyway, so this is a cool package. It kind of is a little bit uneven on the top. It's a weird, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. Um, okay, you open this up. Boom. Chantecaille. You see the bronzer. It is matte. Let's do a touch test. It's very smooth. There's not a lot of pigment going on there. So I think this is definitely going to be a bronzer for more fair skin tones. It does say on the website that deeper skin tones can just use this as a setting powder, that really this is supposed to go on top of your makeup when you are done to almost set everything and lock it in and then blur those imperfections. It's not one that you just put on bare skin. I haven't contoured, I haven't highlighted, I haven't blushed, so everything's looking a little bit loud on the eyes because I don't have balance on the rest of my face. So if you're looking at me going, mm, the makeup's a little weird right now, we're about to fix that. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D number 20 brush and I'm just going to kind of contour bronze through this region and just see how it blends. That's gonna be my first test. But as always, I am going to wear this throughout the day and we'll see how everything lands by the end of the day, if it blotches, if it's still pigmented, all of that good stuff. All right, so there's not a lot of color showing up. So this is definitely a light bronzer. Are you kidding me? Come on, I need a little more. I would like a little more. Do we see a big difference from this side to this side? Cause I just kind of don't. Whenever I do these type of products that are super crazy expensive, I think that there's some kind of magic ingredient in it that's gonna make my skin look amazing with like zero effort. And then sometimes I go to apply it and it's just like nothing. That's kind of what I'm having happen right now. I'm like, um, nothing actually, but let's just continue. I feel like I could just rub this all over my whole face actually, maybe that's how you do it. So I'm using this more like a setting powder and I am being pretty liberal with it. I mean, the texture of it feels really, really nice, but I just don't think that this is a bronzer at all. I just really don't. I would like more bronziness from it. So let me know in the comments. I am really a-okay with hearing your constructive criticism. I wanna hear if you think this looks good or if you think the heavier hand with bronzer looks better on me. Let me know what your opinion is. Be sure to not break my heart while doing it. Ah, uh, that's all I ask. I can handle feedback, guys. I really can. It's when people start name calling and using profanity and just getting angry that I don't like it. You know? All right, I'm gonna finish up everything else because I still want a little blush highlight. I am gonna contour my nose, but I'm not gonna put any additional bronzer on because I do wanna see if this wears and I wanna see what it looks like out and about in daylight. This is kind of disappointing. I'm gonna really, I'm really going in there. 
Okay, you know what? That's just gonna get cakier and cakier if I just keep layering it up. So I'm gonna press the pause button. I'm gonna highlight, blush, and contour the nose. You know, while we're at it, why don't I try another really expensive item? Just make this a little more interesting. This one was actually sent to me. This is from Kevna Kwan, and this is their new Neo highlighter. And I thought I had a really cool brush here. Um, this is the Neo powder brush, and it's like, it's angled in a way where it really hugs your cheek. I have tested this out one time before, but you know, maybe we'll do a wear test on top of it. There's a boatload of kickback when you dip your brush in. Um, but this does look beautiful on the skin because you can kind of put it more underneath the eye and almost on the apple of the cheek. And it just gives you this like really feminine, youthful, girly kind of a glow to the skin that I like a lot. And now let's go into Fiona Styles, put on a little blush, and we'll be all set. So I'm gonna kind of mix these two at the bottom. Discovering this palette has been so nice. I've been using it almost every single day since. I really, really like it. All right, time for just the tiniest bit of contour. And I'm gonna go into this shade up here. All right, and now I am going to set everything. I have been really into this Make It Last from Milani, super affordable setting spray from the drugstore. And I am more glam today than I have been in a long time. The lashes are back temporarily. I was just in the mood for them. So I am going to just go about my day. We're gonna do some check-ins. If I touch up with this powder at all, I will be sure to capture it on camera. But right now, I just think this is kind of a weird thing that it would be encouraged to use for fair skin as a bronzer because it just didn't even show up. It's almost translucent. I don't feel like it bronzed things up significantly at all to justify the price. I don't know that it smoothed any of my lines out either. So I will catch a closer look out and about at my skin and how it's doing. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. One of my favorite places to be, the UPS store. All right, you guys, I am in Hollywood. I am picking up packages. Look, oh my gosh, quite a few of them, actually. I'm very excited. Maybe I will be doing an unboxing when we get home. The uh, bronzer situation, I'm feeling pretty bronzed, not in like a crazy way. It's actually pretty natural. Um, there are two guys laughing at me vlogging right now. Anyway, so the bronzer is like so-so. I don't think it's doing anything extra special for me to make me feel like, yes, $74, well spent. Dude, those guys are still laughing. They cannot stop laughing at me. It's just a camera, bro. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> they were literally laughing at me. They're like pointing and laughing. I've never had anyone laugh that bad at me vlogging in my car by myself. Makeup, shmakeup, papakeup. Where are we at, James? We're at Walgreens. Walgreens. If you have watched my videos for that long that you know what that joke is, I love you so much. Public restroom check-in. In this really unflattering light, um, surprisingly my makeup's actually looking okay, but we're at Walgreens and I'm in the bathroom. God, this vlogging sucks today. So makeup's a little muddy, not really worth $74. Gonna try and find something more priced better while I'm here, so wish me luck. So I'm seeing a lot of new displays. This I have already reviewed and love. This is new. This is like a palette from Circa Beauty. That's kind of interesting. Not what I came here for, but I thought I would give you guys a little tour. Oh my God. It's Nikki Philippi in Walgreens. She's so beautiful. I should just buy these just to support in the basket. Oh my God, I love her. Okay, more displays, more displays. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm purchasing, that's top secret. You will have to find out soon in an upcoming hot or not. <laughs> you know what I love? I love that this Maui line is made in Florida. Oh, roasted Maui <laughs> line. Um, we're in the hair care aisle and I can't help but be like mesmerized by this array of dry shampoo. I kinda wanna try some of this. Have you guys tried this brand? I've never heard of it before. Do I stick with what I know works? What do I do? Strawberry Twinkies. It looks remember, like, it looks like a hot Twinkies, dog. Remember when Twinkies went away? 
Yes, and, they and were everybody gone. freaked out. Yeah, and we like bought them on eBay just trying to save them for... <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and we never ate them. And seen. It Gross. does look like a hot dog. I'm sorry, that does not look tasty. Tasty Twinkie. Oh my God. <laughs> I could use a blotting sheet really badly right now. I don't know what the deal is with my makeup at the moment. It's just shiny, blotchy. Tati. Muddy. Get it together. Boy, you're gonna get slapped in a second. <laughs> um, I think you look beautiful. Thank you're you. You're just having a, a difficult bronzer what? day. A difficult blendy day? Yeah, this is still a no go. It's just, it keeps going downhill by the hour. So we got a ton of really good stuff at Walgreens. I'm gonna test out for a really cool upcoming hot or not, so that's good. And now we're headed home. Yeah, come here, sit down. It's like a big old bear. Hi. Hi. Tati. Yeah? Why do you not let Puka kiss your face? Because I watch him lick his junk all the time and I don't want him licking my face. I love you. You're so cute. But I see you do really gross things. Quick unboxing. Ooh, Physician's Formula. I already have this. What you want? Where's your Smashbox mirror? What do you want with me? I'm gonna put tape over it. I'm tired of people saying it's sponsored. Oh my god. <laughs> Where is it? Um, it should be maybe in one of the drawers on the white desk. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. That's super of you. Back to this. Ooh, oh my goodness. You guys, I see things that I have not tried out yet. Insta Ready Spray, Bright Booster Oil. That's cool. Ooh, focus. That looks really neat. I really like the design of that. That's pretty cool. And I already have this. Donate. And I already have this. Donate. Donation. 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 A mo Ooh, uh -huh. was this matte? This might be the dream that I'm looking for. Could it be a dupe? for the $74 bronzer that is a total disaster. Actually, this looks really nice. I'm excited to try it. We have some brow products. I know what I'm doing with these. <laughs> hey, look. Stop interrupting me. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're the best. You're welcome. Okay. So, oh, what the heck is this <laughs> random, tiny, miniature beauty blender? I kind of feel like a giant holding this. It looks exactly like a beauty blender but miniaturized. Um, okay, we'll put this in the two try pile. All right, so we have a couple of really cool things in here. Ooh, this is a different shade. This actually looks a lot like Nars's Orgasm. It smells incredible. So shiny. All right, so I'm excited to play with the things that I haven't got my hands on. Let's open one more, shall we? One more, one more. Sinful Colors. Okay. Ooh. Hard candy, yes. I love getting drugstore stuff that I have a hard time tracking down. I don't have Walmarts near me and this is an exclusive to Walmart. So usually I have to drive like 40 minutes to go and buy hard candy products. So this is pretty cool. Um, just in case you guys were wondering, I don't request this stuff. It just kind of shows up. I have my PO box listed in my description box and whatever shows up, shows up. I always tell you guys what is sent to me and what is not and that's about that. All right, so this is not gonna turn into like an entire unboxing video. I'm gonna get back to my day and do a few more check-ins on the bronzer in a little bit. Do you know what the worst part of this hairdo is right now? Is I actually styled it today. Like I curled it, I styled it, and then I was just like, mm ponytail and it's just kind of mm. all right so this is the final check-in drum roll please if you have been on the edge of your seats wondering whether i love this product or not i'm here to tell you that i don't not at all i feel like it did not make my pores look smaller or my fine lines blurred in fact i feel like it made me more shiny than i normally am usually by this time in the day you know with my primer my fiona styles matte foundation my covergirl outlast all day powder my face is pretty much locked but being that i used this not just in my contour bronzy areas but i kind of sweeped the product everywhere because it is a finishing powder they even have a translucent universal 
pencil shade that is the same formula, just more colorless that you can use everywhere to set your makeup. And I just feel like it made me kind of have a gross skin day. So I'm gonna say this is not worth the hype, the money, save your cash, save those dollar bills, get something maybe from Benefit, which is a great matte bronzer. Um, Rimmel has some great bronzers from the drugstore if you wanna go really like on the budget. I guess my point is I just don't like this product and I think it's way, way overpriced. So there we have it. I'm going to exit this video also. I just gotta tell you guys, um, leave in the comments below. This is the most random thing I will ever ask you. Okay, prepare yourselves. I changed my t-shirt. Um, I was wearing a v-neck before and some of you might have noticed during the out and about that all of a sudden I'm wearing like a higher collar kind of here. I can't find a bodysuit that actually fits me to save my life. Now I'm not talking about like the size up here and like my arms, but I have the world's longest torso. So I had to change my top because I went to button it and it just did not work out. So this whole day has just been a giant big fail, but I am testing out other cool products as always and stay tuned for more interesting videos coming up soon, hopefully with more products that I love instead of ones that I regret purchasing. So there we have it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for hanging out. I love you guys. Mwah.